Hey, I want to marry you. You don't know me. Doesn't change the fact that you're my kitten. Ooh, woo, you're my little pog champ. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, get the hell away from me. Crawl your way out of my DMs and don't come back. Doesn't change the fact that you're my little kitten. <laughs> it's just a rule of thumb, buddy. Don't ever call someone your kitten. I think that'll pretty much only end bad. Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Today, we're checking out some more creepy private messages. I couldn't be more excited. It's going to be awesome. You guys know the drill. I'm going really well. Everything's going great. The channel's going amazing. You know, we're going to be at 50,000 subs soon, which is just nuts. And anything past that is closer to 100. And then I'll get one of those plaques. And like, then a million and a billion and a quadrillion, trillion, billion. There's literally no stopping us, guys. All right, enough of that. Let's go creeped out. Hi, how you doing? Always you ignore me. Hi. And then again, hi, how you going? And then out with the big guns, I want to make love to you, please. <laughs> and then you ignoring me. No response again. You ignoring me. Not messaging anymore. You're rude. You don't deserve a man. Use your dildos. And then, you know, because couldn't be too rude. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Gonna have a lovely Christmas because you told me so. <laughs> totally normal behavior to say, hi, I want to make love to you, and then get angry because they didn't respond, and then come full circle and go, Merry Christmas. Um, are you okay, mate? I want your baby. I don't have a child. Lol, I want your cat emoji. Ah, uh, you can't have my cat, sorry, they live with me. I want to show in pick only. Here you go. I said you, I want pussycat. You can't have my cats, I told you. Adopt your own, sorry, mine aren't for sale. I don't want your bye. You know what? I want your, you know what? Do you want understand? Sorry, I'm all out for this year. Out of stock. But no one added me. Why add? What? <laughs> I mean, look at how you treat women. I wonder why. You're a crappy person. Lol, I respect all women, okay? You do not, lol. Okay, I hate you. No, you just hate that I'm calling you out on your toxic ways. Get better, honey. Yeah, 100%. You just don't like getting called out, do you, dude? All these sorts of creepy guys are always the biggest crybabies. Like, every single time. Like, oh, she didn't automatically sleep with me or send me nudes. Oh, how dare she? What makes these guys so insane? And why are they all the exact same in this way? I don't understand. How can none of them have any self-awareness? Like, well, I guess, you know, if they did have any self-awareness or any of that, we wouldn't be reading about them, would we? I hate their behavior, but I love the videos that I can make from these conversations. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> okay. Do you like being naughty? Oh my God, this is what I mean. Goodbye. I just asked you a question. Frick off. What is wrong in it? Bye. Shall I frick you? I had big black, you know what? I was being nice to you, but you were saying all. Oh, that's why I used those. Come on, talk to me. I want to show you something. Do you like to see? Tell me, shall I? Hi, why are you not talking? And sends two nudes and then says, hey, for you with love hearts. <laughs> I got a present for you. Here it is. There's no possible way you can make that not creepy and terrifying. Dude, don't talk to someone like this. Look, God, how could you be so rude? I just showed you my... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what do you mean you're not interested? What? <laughs> I have no doubt in the world that a lot of these guys are probably nice guys as well. Hey, Merry Christmas. Jumps on you and hugs you. Uh, who are you, bro or sis? Lol, I'm Izzy. Lol, sorry, a girl. 15. That's sus. <laughs> It's real sus, dude. <laughs> There's no way your name's Izzy and you're a 15 year old girl. Jumps on you and hugs you. <laughs> like, yeah, maybe, okay? Maybe it is Izzy, maybe it is a girl, maybe she's 15. It could literally also be a 50 year old man in his basement somewhere. Like, that's the thing, you don't know. And I'm so glad that you're being cautious because, ugh, that sort of stuff's terrifying. Okay, go to bed now. But Senpai, I'm not tired. Please, this is hell, stop with this senpai stuff. I will never stop loving senpai. Seriously, it's getting creepy. Am 
I really creepy? Don't you dare bring that gotcha stuff in here. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Okay, senpai. <laughs> I will see you in there. <laughs> I will be under the bed waiting for you. No, I shouldn't joke about that because like some of these people probably are that weird. Yeah, bye-bye, uh, senpai. Uh, hi. Hey, I just wanted to say that you're really cool. Blushes and looks down shyly. Oh, uh, thanks. No problem, Uwu. Waddles up to you. I saw that you tweeted about being bi. Blushes beat red. Would you want to... Looks away in embarrassment. What, what, would you... Would you want to have a threesome? <laughs> Absolutely. Goddamn not. Uwu, would, would, would you like to, um, 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 have a threesome? <laughs> Honestly, like, to be fair, I didn't see that coming. So, what, points for creativity, I guess. Extra points for being super scary. It would have been plenty creepy enough if you just did this without all the oo-woo and all the creepy asterisks. It would have been weird enough. But no, you got to turn it up to 11, don't you? <laughs> hey, I just wanted to tell you you're wrong and your mum is right. Lol, alright, thanks for the feedback. You seem like an entitled child who is rude and heartless to your mother. A good reminder why I'll never have kids. COVID is a very serious disease. I'm hoping you are practicing safe human living by using a mask. I've been very safe. I just accidentally got in contact with someone who wasn't safe. Care to explain what about my post makes me heartless? I'm genuinely curious. The whole reason I posted was to get others' perspective. I'm just a sour freaking prick who is more sour than a lemon and mayonnaise sandwich. I can't cope with my life or my problems, so instead I steer it towards other people and try to bring them down or rain on their parade, and I wonder why my sister won't talk to me. I'll be going to the grave a cold and lonely person. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks for clearing that up. Maybe not being a ding-dong the strangers will help. But you deserve it, you whiny little bee arch. Mama is right. And you are wrong. Maybe if you didn't have your boyfriend's ding dong in your mouth all day, you would see that. I disagree. I ended up coming home and listening to her, but I disagree. I know you're trying to trigger me, but it won't work, so I'm not going to reply anymore. How old are you anyway? Don't accuse me of being the playground bully, please. I was just joking, by the way. I'm trolling. Sorry. And I know I can't really take back what I said or apologize because it was rude. It's it's the ADHD. Yeah, ADHD doesn't make you a prick. Chill out and reevaluate your life if this is how you choose to live. Dude, yes, yes, yes. You bloody tell him. Reminds me of incels. Like, yeah, and trying to blame it on ADHD. Dude, oh my God. Exactly, that doesn't make you a prick. <laughs> oh, you can't excuse this sort of behavior, dude. Just don't be like this. It reminds me so much of incels because they just, like, you don't have to be like this. But they choose to anyway, even though they know that it's making their life worse? I don't understand. I know you don't know me, but wow, you look like my sister a lot, and you've got her body all the way. Damn. I like. We live on a farm. It's just the two of us. I'm 43. We do things we shouldn't do sometimes, but she's okay with it. We don't get out much. I work in the day. I would like to get to know you, so how old are you? Anyway, hope to hear from you. <laughs> you are not hearing from them ever again. Saying stuff like that? Wow, you you look like my sister and then confessing that you and your sister do things to oh, I'm gonna be sick <laughs> vomit passionately <laughs> a real simple one eat my ass zero calories lol trashy is a great place for you sis stay there would you even call that a creepy message I think that's pretty funny <laughs> eat my ass zero calories I guess it really depends how you say it doesn't it because that could be really creepy but if you said it in a funny way it's sort of funny I don't know probably don't message that to someone oh god here here we go. Yiggity yiggity yowza. A girl interested in Formula One, tis great to see. And may I say, you are a fine young lass, very fertile I must say. Hickorino. I know it's a long shot, but if you'd ever be willing to give a nice guy like me a shot, then feel free to flick me a message anytime with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? <laughs> Exclamation marks. No way, this can't be real. My inbox is always open to you, my dear. Best wishes, XOXOXOXO. Look forward to hearing from you. What the hell? <laughs> Flattered, are we? Don't fret, my dear. We can take our time. <laughs> no. Is someone that delusional? No way. I cannot believe that. Flattered, are we? No. <laughs> Completely lost our marbles, have we? No. Oh, yes, don't fret, my dear. We can take our time. Dude, they'll take her time. 100% <laughs> all the rest of their life to message you. Hey, can I suck it? Uh, I'm good. Let me swallow those kids. <laughs> uh, no is still no. 
Let me be your Bianch. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, probably go the other direction, you know, from somebody like that. Somebody sending you messages like that. Very big red flag. Especially if you've never talked to them before and they just send you that out of the blue. Like, that's extra weird. Christmas Eve. Holy hell. I can't believe it's Christmas already. Lol. Starts freaking myself with a dildo. <laughs> um, no. What the hell? And then whatever that face is. Bro. Oh, God, I can't believe it's Christmas Eve. And then you say that? <laughs> like, honestly, that's kind of hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Completely inappropriate, and you should never say that. But just how quickly that got insane, that's kind of beautiful in a weird way. I have never read something that escalated so fast. And, dude, I'm not happy about it. Hello, I'm 37 years old, but I'm actually four years old. I live in the United States. I live in North America. I do not smoke. I just love sports. I am a computer graduate. Both my software, hardware, and software are looking for a very serious relationship. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? And you're really going to end that with M after a full stop? Guys, I'm done with the creepy private messages today. Let's do some made me smile posts. I just don't think I can do any more of this. <laughs> okay, here we go. One act of kindness can change your life. A homeless man gave this student his last three pounds so she could get home. A student raises over 21,000 pounds for a homeless man who offered her three pounds so she could get home safely. So this homeless guy gave his last three pounds to this woman and then ends up with 21,000. That's amazing. There really are so many great people in the world, aren't there? Oh, how it started. Beautiful dog and beautiful little kitten and how it's going. That's so damn cute. Like the idea that a beautiful big dog and a tiny little cat can be best friends is amazing. I am 1000% going to have a big beautiful dog and a little kitten one day and they're going to grow up together just like this. Dude, that's so beautiful. She's my sweet potato. I am. <laughs> That is so sweet. Well, you know, sweet potato. I actually don't think there's anything cuter than an old couple that have been together and happily in love for like so long. It's bloody magical. And on that wholesome note, guys, I'm going to leave today's video here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Today's video was so much fun. I love the creepy messages, but we really, really needed that wholesomeness at the end. Today's comment of the day goes to Davin. Work, sad noises, Vincey uploads, happy noises. If you can combine the two, that's even better. <laughs> nah, probably don't watch me while you're at work, guys. <laughs> I don't want you to lose your job because you watch my videos, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. You're all the best. All right, guys. Thank you for everything you do. I appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. If you ever get any super creepy messages yourself and you'd like them to be in a video, just send them to me on Instagram. That would be amazing. Guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you guys then.